welcome to the third third episode review of pretty for a big girl we are going to wait on my girl my girl t i'm going to get ready to start talking about the pretty for a big girl show if you haven't seen the pretty for a big girl show what are you doing go ahead come on go ahead and let me know what <laughs> If you have watched Pretty for a Big Girl show, please let me know in the comments. Ain't that right? Wait. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, sir. Anyway, <laughs> we are waiting on my girl T for us to get started to talk about Pretty for a Big Girl. So while we are waiting, we're going to play a little bit of music. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Might be a little bit too high. Let me know if that's too high, if you can hear me well. But anyway, pretty for a big girl. There go my girl T. Let me go ahead and add her. Uh, and there she is. <laughs> what? What do you want? Hey, girl. Let me turn this down. Excuse our special guest. Um, it's a boy or girl? A boy. His name is Wick after John Wick. Don't even ask why his name is John Wick. But, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I lost connection. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on, guys. I think we lost connection with T. Let's make sure we got connection with her while we are waiting on that connection to come back. How are y'all doing? Where's the comments? Come on. Give me some comments. You know what? Since y'all don't want to comment, I'm going to just keep waving at y'all. Hello, 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 hello. Wait, you can't be doing this all day, baby. Sir, sir. <laughs> okay, let's add T one more time. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see if it does it. I thought I just tried it. Girl, I don't know what happened. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was like, oh, it went off. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? Okay. All right, so we are back. So our people in the chat a lot of people are joining so thank you guys for joining so much we can now finally talk about pretty for a big girl episode yeah. three before we get started i want to go ahead and surprise my girl t to tell her congratulations on her 75k oh, on tiktok if y'all not following her on tiktok please do okay please. girl okay. Last year around this time, I had like under five thousand followers. I was like, I don't think this going. That's um, crazy. So what? What video do you know that just skyrocketed your followers? Like it was the video, and it was like, um, it was like, like fat B word. Mm -hmm. It was like fat bitch. What you? What you weigh like two hundred pounds? And then like I responded to it while I was eating my Chinese food. Like you really think I'm that skinny? It was that video. And it got like over two million views, and I was like, "Really? That video of me eating Chinese food is the one that you gotta like, okay. share that video. Share that video to your story after this. Yeah, I am. Cause I don't know I if am. I've seen that video. I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right after this. Live. Okay. Yeah. Share it right after. So that gave you two million. Yeah. Oh my. I mean, like, I'm, I'm grateful for it, but like, I was like, there's so many other videos that I put way more work in. That was more, you know. But you know what? That it, happens. You know what? That really happens. I have a video that's close to a million, and it was just me. I think drinking some orange juice. It was like oh, a yeah, remix. It was like a little sip of orange. Yeah. <laughs> How is this close? Right. This is what the algorithm wants. This is what they gonna get. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I know you already got your concoction. I am okay. drinking Sutter Home. Moscato. Oh, I haven't tried that kind of wine. 
Is it what? good? I usually drink Arbor Mist and um, Stella Rose when it comes to wine. Girl, and then I try you to are wine in Alabama. Bad. They should have Sutter Home all over. Oh, they do? I just haven't tried it. Haven't try tried. it. Really? Really? You want some? Oh, yeah, but I got to tell you about this concoction. Okay, let me tell okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. So I got Arbor Mist, strawberry mango in there. I got okay. some peach VH juice, peach mango VH juice in here. Okay. Some homemade. Tito's vodka, then I have a little bit of gin in it, and then I put a little bit of lime juice and some ice. What that tastes like? Like a nice. It's juice good. Or what? It's good. It's good. But I like it's mostly like juice from like right here, and then the rest of the alcohol. I like more juice tasting than the mm. alcohol tasting, because like if I get a little lit, I'd rather like it tastes like juice. <laughs> you want to get down? <laughs> I like that. Okay. See, I keep telling you, you're going to have to make me some drinks. You're just going to have to come all the way to Atlanta. We're going to get a little place, a little Airbnb. Yeah. I'm watching you make us drinks. Because like, I just be throwing stuff together and make it taste good. I'd be like, okay. Yeah, you can be a bartender. Hey, bartender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Pretty fun, big girl. Episode three. Both of us already said we really like this <laughs> episode. This was a nice episode. Yes. For two. I really like it. Um, a, It's not that it was a lot of things happening, but it's a big conversation when it comes to us thick slash big girls. Yes. And it's dating. It's talking about dating, period. That's, that's pretty much it. Before we even get into the dating scenes because that's basically what the whole episode was about we had one yeah we had one scene with ace max and savannah so that scene with the sneaky link that basically that's what it was <laughs> so sneaky link ace and max we already knew that they they're doing sneaky link it looked like savannah was still upset now, I didn't get a chance to review episode two again, but remember, at the end of that, what, it was like Justice kind of walked off, you know, she yeah. kind of brushed them off and whatnot. So, it looked like she was still upset about that. Maybe Justice, you know, her and Justice aren't on speaking terms, or then again, they might be. So, so, we'll know, hopefully we'll know in episode four now. But, um, back to the main point of the episode which is speed dating so i want to hear your take on it because this is not too much too much i can truly say it's not too much that i can say about dating as a big girl one because i pretty much married early and two all the boyfriends and side pieces i ever had they just they like me so it was it wasn't a a big girl fetish and that's one thing that i wrote down i think well then again, I probably had like two big girl fetishes, fetish dudes. So, like my dating life, it's not nothing much. Cause I only got like I only got one boyfriend. It's the boyfriend I'm with now. Like that's it. Like mm. I don't really have no experience with coming to speed dating okay. like that. Cause I got the one, and that's it. And we still, okay. have, you know, we got our daughter and stuff. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so basically this is basically just your one and only you know y'all mm -hmm. met y'all fell in love and then boom bam here you are yep. so okay, I'm one okay. of the ones, I guess you know I okay. have to look the, yeah. so would you feel like there's would you I thought I thought there was a ghost in my room my cat <laughs> is playing with my clothes anyway <laughs> do you think that there's if you're looking at it, because I'm, I'm obviously you're a beautiful girl, so I'm pretty sure even, you know, you're in a relationship, but you got to brush the dudes off. So do you feel like the guys that you are brushing off, you know, are they with the big fetishes? Do they just like big women, period? How can you imagine that? Like, when they be like coming in my DMs and stuff, they be like, oh, you're so pretty, and I just want to cuddle up on your arm. Then one dude say, I want to cuddle up on your arm roll, and I was like, Ew, I'm like, first of all, I got a boyfriend. Second of all, wow, like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, nasty. I'm like, that's weird. Like, people have some weird. One dude was like, I just want to touch your feet. I said, now that's just a foot fetish. That's just, that's just a foot fetish. That's a, that's a dude who likes feet. 
I would say, um, for me, I don't know. I I've had a fun dating life, and just when I got married, um, that was pretty much it. So, <laughs> but the struggles, what we saw when it came to Kansas. The first thing that I wrote down in my notes was, is she insecure or is she confident? So, and right. So I was saying, when she said the first thing, you know, they was like, come on, Kansas, you know, we just doing speed dating and whatnot. You know, you know, you're a beautiful girl and stuff. And she was like, yeah, I know. So she knows she's beautiful. So I don't think that she's insecure. What do you think? I think she just... I don't think she liked that type of dating scene. Like, speed dating is not a cup of tea of trying to find a man. I don't think she... Because she thought they were just going out. Like, just going out to have fun. Yeah. Then it turns out, speed dating, she like, Lord, here they go again, trying to meddle in my love life. Mm-hmm. But think about it. Think about the last episode. episode. Do you really think she want to date anyway? I don't think she do. Like she's like I think she just like the idea, you know. Mm-hmm. Just dating. like they said in episode two, you know, she likes the idea of dating and being in love, but she don't want to do it. She don't want to go through the struggles. She don't want to go through it. Mm-hmm. You know, she don't have time for all that. So, I, I definitely feel like she's confident. It's just she don't want to go through all that mess. And then, not knowing, blindfully knowing, because. The first thing I said, I didn't even think about the struggles of a big girl dating. I was just thinking she just don't want to, you know, she ain't with all that dating life. She just want to chill, you know, and all that. But there actually is struggles of a big girl. And even though you and I don't have too many stories that we have to go through when it comes to that, every big girl has more than likely has been hit on by a guy who has a fetish. So... We have to go through that, but we just ignore that. It, it is what it is. You, you a big, you have a big girl fetish. That's on you. You know, a lot of um girls like that. Girls like you know the guys who have big girl fetish, and most of them just want you to love them. Like, you know, it is what it is. It, I'm yeah. just, I'm just so happy to be big. You know, you gonna love me for me, but um, looking at it, it really changed my perspective i would say because again i never went through it you never went through it we don't we don't know too much about it and me with all my dating i really just never thought about it like that i i know i've dated one guy that oh lord he was like a toothpick and never again honey but (laughs) he me not knowing but he was, uh, he did have a big girl fetish. He just liked big girls. He liked thicker women. He liked big girls. And it's just, that's just what he liked. I didn't like it. But, and that didn't last long. That, that lasted about a month. <laughs> but, um, you know, all the other guys, it is what it is. They saw me for me. Now, looking at the show, you know, those guys, it was the first guy who got it for me, who started making me kind of understand, yeah. like, what well, was I going on. I kind of bad for him a little bit. What, what the guy <laughs> that said he was ugly? Yeah, the first... Because, like, like, because, you know, when he first walked up in there, he was, like, excited because he was, like, very pretty or whatever, but she was mm-hmm. just, like, uh, he, like, you could tell that she was thinking he was ugly. Hey, you woke up! Ah, she woke up! Hey, girl! It's my daughter. Hey girl, look at her. Hey, pretty girl. But yeah, um, he was like, like he felt like he already knew that she was gonna say something about him being ugly. That's why he mm-hmm. threw out the comment, "And you're fat," because she told him that he was ugly. So I was like, I, I would have been mad if I was her. But at the same time, she did, you know, basically call him unattractive. Well, he first, he first said. You know, you know, I'm doing this because I'm ugly and whatnot before yeah. anybody realizes it. And she said, Well, you're not ugly. I mean, she did say he wasn't ugly. And he said, Well, you're not fat. So I guess he was saying, like, come on, girl, a lot of girls done told me I was ugly. Yeah. So I guess, you know, and, and it was all right. It was kind of funny at first. Yeah. But then he started talking about his struggles of being ugly, which like dude, right people why you that's what made it, made me feel right. Bad. Like, dude, right. you're not even that ugly anyway. Yeah, he like, moved. 
exactly. So mm -hmm. I, I didn't understand that. So you're talking about your struggles of being ugly and then include her saying, you know, we, we got to protect each other yeah, you know, you, with people you like us. Them. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, what you mean, like us? Like, why you gotta say that to all that? So you're saying ugly. You're saying we're different. How are we different from the ideal or the what you call it, the American ideal look, the beauty standard that they have? Mm -hmm. Open door. What? <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Open door." I'm like, "What door?" Baby, what? Baby, we trying to open some door. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, just thinking about what she's saying about, well, the dude said that we're different and he's excluding us from just everybody else. I guess that our skinny and the ideal look, there is no, in my eyes, there's no ideal look. But really there are so many countries out here that sets a beauty standard. And a lot of people don't have that beauty standard unless they have plastic surgery. Yeah, getting it fixed and going through crazy diets trying to get the perfect. I'm body. telling you right now, no matter how much plastic surgery you do, sweetheart, you still are going, when you have kids, those they kids are going to look like your original oh, genetics. Uh, <laughs> You know how many times I saw some articles from um, the Asian countries about one lady, I think one lady died because when she had the kids, they came out looking like her genetics, but all that plastic surgery. Her husband was like, they made my kids. Aww. And yes, they were. Yes, they were. It was just her and her genetics. She must have didn't tell you how much plastic surgery she used. But that's one thing that I think about. I'm like, dang, if I get plastic surgery in the face, yeah, you know, you can easily just change your nose, change your jaw structure and whatnot. You know? Mm hmm But that, that was something what that, that guy said, you know. So dealing with, and all the other guys afterwards, it's cool. I thought the you know, I thought um, down south they like thick women, and correction, they do. <laughs> but, but um, you know, saying I'm glad I need some meat on my bones. And then the other guy who was a jerk talking about, you yeah. know, who's the friends and stuff like that, ain't even yeah. stepping the girl. Wanted, um, she was like, you like he was like, if you want to ride this pony, you can get on it too or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, what you mean? Mm -hmm. Be on your own pony. Mm -hmm. Like I just, mm -mm. oh yeah. But back with that first dude, like I felt like, um, like his mic wasn't up. That first mm -hmm. dude, it kind of sounded like he was talking pretty low. Yeah. And, like the volume started picking up, and I had, I had wrote about that, and I was like, is that me? Can I not hear? Or like, I think there was like a volume issue. Oh yeah. Clark, Clark, yeah. Clark, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit of a volume issue. Maybe his his mic was like adjusted wrong, so maybe that's why. But, um, oh yeah, you know that girl Summer, her date. Oh lord, <laughs> <laughs> like he was good at first. I was like, oh snap, he was good. He was, you know, a nice looking whatever meal. He had a regular meal name. <laughs> Oh, boy. Daddy. 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 You want me to open it? 
And I guess that was just, you know, just to brighten up the scene and whatnot, just to give us a little bit of laughter, which yeah. it definitely did, because he was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I noticed, like, right after that scene ended, it had, like, some beeps here and there. I yeah. Those beeps supposed to be for when you said crack. <laughs> <laughs> I see that's what it supposed to have went. Probably. You never know. I'm like, what random beast fall? I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Um, it probably was just mis um misplaced. Yeah, <laughs> talk about you want some crack. That was funny. So then he was, he was dead serious. He really was. So I know we're gonna go back to Kansas because it was all about Kansas. But mm -hmm. the I don't know the lady name. Is it Tanya? Do you know? I didn't even get her name, but I saw the dude name was Patrick. <laughs> you saw the dude name Patrick. Okay, because yeah, I wrote down Glass Man. I said Glass Man. His name is Patrick. His name is Patrick. Okay, so his name is Patrick. I, <laughs> I like <laughs> He seems sweet. But when he took off the glasses, I'm like, he cockeyed. I already know it. He cockeyed. He was blind. So like, I he, thought that too. I, I was thinking. Blind. Sometimes when they're blind, they're like, yeah. So I said either he's blind or he's cockeyed. And I thought if he was cockeyed, they were just going to make a joke out of it. But it, you know, it stopped. It just left with a clip. Yeah. So yeah. maybe he is blind, you know. So he, he might be blind. I actually will want to see more more of him because. Um, he seemed like a sweet dude. And he, said, he, like he said all the right things. He would say all the right things. He did. Yeah. He did. So hopefully. Hopefully he just a dude, you know, he just sweet and stuff. But I swear I thought he was either cockeyed or blind. And he might be blind. Or he might have gorgeous eyes and they just want to show that next oh. episode. Yeah. That would be nice. She'll be falling in love then. <laughs> oh goodness. One dude okay. Really? Like you oh. know, whatever. And he was like, he was like, I like my girl BB I don't like love. He about to start quoting love. I said nothing. I thought they were going to show some more clips about him talking about what that song called. Uh, I like my girls, BBW. Right. <laughs> Ooh, I, I'm done. That, that is something. Kansas is going through a lot. Kansas don't like, she like the idea of everything, but do not want to go through it. Yeah, she don't want to go through the dating and the Ones that ain't it, she don't want to go through ones that ain't mm -hmm. it. Way to find the best. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, one thing that she got going on is that last guy, and I think oh, I yeah. got his name. Oh. Is it Timothy? I Did didn't you? look I again because okay. I'm trying to find his name. So I think I looked hard enough, and it said Timothy. I'm really oh, thinking it yeah. spelled out Timothy, and he was sweet, and I'm hoping that might be her lover, but. There was a trailer, the tra one of the trailers. Wandrea had a guy. Was that him? I don't know. I didn't look at that trailer. Like, is it on their page? I don't or know. Let me see. I'm, I'm in front of the computer, so let, I'm. I'm see. Let me see. Uh, I don't know what my cat is doing. I did not like that. He was like, "What kind of music you like? You like the beat girls? You like jamming stuff?" I like. Yeah, I'm like, where they come from? We just like, like, we do, like, you know, support the big girls, but, like, you ain't have to do all that. Like, he was, they, I was like, he need to go. <laughs> I think they definitely just wanted to accentuate and just let you know, you know, big girls has gone through struggles because, matter of fact, there's a, let me go some more history. There's a comment under the show. There's a comment under the show. Let me pull it up. Because I wanted to go through all the comments, and it's basically everybody getting angry about cliffhangers. But <laughs> there's one comment from um, an account called Honey Plush, and it says, man, this is literally why I stopped using dating apps. Some guys just don't know what to say when it comes to talking to a big girl. And yeah. the thing is, what yeah. should they say? I don't think... I, well, the things that obviously was in the episode they shouldn't have said, but what should you say? Just talk to me. Oh, like, right. I'm a regular person. What right. are you talking about? 
you ain't gotta like throw out big girl facts or nothing like that. Just does talk. every sentence, does every other sentence have to acknowledge my weight or the way I look or right. I'm, or my size? You can move faster than a skinny girl. I didn't know you could drop that low, you know, because I see <laughs> them thick thighs. I didn't know you could do a split because, you know, them thick thighs. And it's, it's so crazy to me how people can really act like that and perceive that way. It's, it's, it's crazy. Now, I have seen jerks. You know, I haven't dated jerks that talk like that, but of course you're around them. Some dudes just like to say sly comments and think it's cool. Think it's cool when you're talking to a big girl. Like stuff made it seem like saying stuff like that to bigger people is okay when it's not okay. Right. And you think it, it's a compliment. Compliment? No, idiot. What? It's not a compliment. Right. It's just you s sounding stupid. You act like we're alien somewhere in Mars because That's we're right. big. Act like we're a different species just because we're bigger. And that goes back to the very first guy that Kansas talked to, talking about like us, we're different. We're different from regular people. What is your definition of regular people? Because I'm last regular. time I'm checked, we're mighty regular right. around here. So what what is your definition of regular people? I don't get it. That's it really it really made me look at it so differently because I just don't understand how and I feel sorry for any female, oh. any girl around here, you know, watching our lives and whatnot, if they have gone through this. Cause I feel sad for that. Like you shouldn't never have to be treated like you're an alien somewhere else. Like somebody ain't never seen a big girl before. Right. I am still the same person, sweetheart. I just eat a little bit more than you. Just a little more jiggling. Just, just a little bit more. I might eat a little bit more bread than you. And I can prom I can uh, test to that. I'd rather eat bread than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bread. Right, right. I'm a bread eater. That's just what I do. I don't work out. I'm I just eat bread. So <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that's I mean that's the thing. That's that's the crazy thing about it. I just don't understand it. You know, and that what starts bringing and I wonder in the next few episodes, will that affect Canvas? And it may not because it's like it looked like she already knew what was about to go down. When yeah, because she was like the wall and everything. She was very uninterested into mm -hmm. that. Hey, and I knew it got to be yeah. something with him for the next episode because she sat on so straight. She was like, hey. right, right, right. So I'm pretty sure this guy Timothy, he's going to basically just like her for her. Talk to me like a person. Don't talk to me like I'm just this delicate delicacy. Pick it up. Like you just can't find another big girl or this big girl is just something special to you. You know? So that's that's one thing that really just upset, just made me upset to think about. Like, big girls really have to go through this. That's crazy. That is so crazy to me. But... So, episode four, what do you think it's going to be about? I think episode four, I ho hopefully they continue, you know, the speed dating process and, you know, talk about, like, you know, just show the scene with that last dude to see how that works. Like, that should be, like, the first half of the episode. And then after that, like, I think they should go back to the cookout because I'm like... like <laughs> you still trying to go back to that cookout? Like, what a rest of the cookout scene, you know, what's going on, you know, on that or whatever. And maybe yeah, they know what horrible. happened with that sneaky link on that bonus yeah. scene. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now, be mindful. I, you see the kitty? Yeah, this is the kitty. You see the kitty guy? He, he <laughs> looking crazy. You want to see him? Here you go. See? Oh. <laughs> she said, "Look it. Don't throw her a cat or a dog in first. She gonna run away from him. I, I bet, and he'll probably <laughs> run away from him too. Stop. Alcoholic move. <laughs> Why you an alcoholic? Move. Just, you but... just like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> but um, episode four, I think." No, I don't think they're gonna go back to the speed. Mom. I have. I think I'm starting to catch on to how she's doing it. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna focus on Canvas. They focused on Canvas tw Mom. on Kansas Mom. twice. So Mom. Mom. I think it's about that time to Mom. go back to Andrea. 
Oh yeah, because we haven't seen her since episode Mommy. one with um with her dude. So I wonder if they're going to do an episode because right now I guess Courtney we're just on a cliffhanger with her and Justice. We don't know what's going on right now. And be mindful, this is still three months early. Oh yeah, it sure is. Cause they didn't tell us we was back in the regular time. So, mm -hmm. We are still three months early. That's why when you say you want to go back to that cookout, it's going to be at the end. They're going to go back to the cookout at the end because we are still three months earlier from that cookout. So with episode two, they're just talking about the sneaky link, the struggles in Savannah's um, career, and then Kansas. Episode three is all about Kansas, again, with her speed dating and the struggles of dating struggles of dating as a big girl so yeah. episode four i'm thinking they're going to take it to wandrea if they take it to wandrea then again they might they might start it off with kenny and, and max with their sneaky link because obviously we know that we know that they're messing around so yeah. i think it's going to take it to wandrea I don't know if they're going to bring it back to Savannah and Justice yet, but that's basically we do need to find out about what is his name? Quincy, right? Or Quincy? Yeah. I think it's Quincy. Quincy. So we do still need to find out about Quincy because we haven't seen Quincy since episode one, since yeah. the first episode. So I definitely think um, I just don't know. I don't know what to guess with episode four it's kind of hard because i didn't think what did we say that we thought episode three was going to be we thought that we was going to finish up with savannah and justice yeah huh come on, come on. i'm not gonna... <laughs> she's like come on <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that was kind of hard for me Hello. <laughs> Is you gonna come or what? <laughs> I'll be down there a little later. <laughs> she she ready now. <laughs> but um yeah, I think I don't know. I just don't know how to predict episode um four, but I definitely can say episode three was just a more eye opener, especially towards big women who are currently dating right now. And I bet you you know, the more um, people who watch the show, because it's only um, this show I know on YouTube is getting between like 2,000 to 6,000 a week. So I'm pretty sure the more views that it gets on YouTube, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of comments about females telling us the struggles about, you know, it's a struggle dating out here as a big girl. So <laughs> they might even comment on us and say, y'all lucky y'all got somebody. <laughs> Because, you know, you know, some people actually do want to find love. And yeah. if you go, I swear, if I was single right now, I never thought that I would go through a struggle like this, what was in the show. But if I was to, I'd be just like Kansas, like, go move along. Yeah. I ain't got time for this. Yeah. But knowing me, knowing me, I'll probably have me a little side piece. Let me just be my cutty buddy. I don't want nothing more. Just, we're going to do what we got to do. Yeah bounce we just i don't want nothing else let's just keep this simple but yeah very nice episode yes i love it <laughs> i loved it, it was mm -hmm. i liked it like none of my, pred my predictions becoming true so i'm like i need to get right <laughs> and they might come true in episode four it's just that this one kind of hit us sideways because they're they're talking about you know they're just talking about speed dating dating in life yeah. so definitely different than what we expected um to be well, episode three with um savannah and she was looking at this dude and that girl like i think through a glass or something i don't know i thought it was a glass but i don't think it was a glass i don't know what it was i think she was just staring and she just rolled her eyes and i guess I was assuming like she's obviously not irritated by her her main, you okay. know, by Ace and Max. But I think she was just, you know, go she's going through something right now. She's going through something with Justice. She's thinking about Quincy. She got a lot going on right now. So she definitely 
my cat is jumping on. <laughs> One of the funny cat videos, jumping off. Yes, and that's what he gonna be. I'm gonna record him one day. I'm gonna get hey. millions of views just for my cat. Don't play that ball. <laughs> she gonna get this cat. No. I'm excited for next week already. Like, yeah, I do. I I am excited. This is actually this episode actually made me be even more excited for episode four. So, Court, Courtney definitely did her thing with this as usual, and she should already know because we've been praising it ever since the first episode. So, well. Since we are done with our review, yes. go ahead and just say, if you guys don't know what we are talking about, of course, we're about to end our live right now, but we are talking about Pretty for a Big Girl show. Um, it is three episodes in, so and they're like 10 minutes each, which means we have finally made it to 30 minutes, half an hour. Yes. You can spend a whole half an hour watching all three episodes of Pretty for a Big Girl, as well as their bonus scene on their Instagram. Follow them on Instagram at Pretty for a Big Girl. That's G U R L. You can also um, subscribe to them and click the bell on their YouTube channel, Pretty for a Big Girl series, and then go to Pretty for a Big Girl dot com to also look at the episodes. Very great show. Keep on watching it. All my big girls out here, talk to us comment let us know let us know if you have any struggles as a single plus size female just let us know the struggles of dating life because me and t don't know <laughs> we we just really don't know we are already in a relationship we just locked down so just yeah. let us know because i promise you you know when i was in that dating scene i didn't have too many of these struggles like i said everybody has their fetishes but I haven't had too much of a struggle, especially with the first guy that we was talking about. So, anybody, just go ahead and comment, like this video. Um, and that is it. T. <laughs> and volunteer on TikTok. <laughs> yes. So, YouTube, this um, whole live will be on my YouTube channel Wednesday. I don't have a time yet. I will put a poll out. But, yes, it will be up on my wow. channel Wednesday. Yes. Period. Period. <laughs> I'm going to finish my wine. Now you going to finish yours? Well, this is my second glass. Huh? This is my second glass, too, so I don't know. <laughs> my concoction. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, everybody have a good night. Good yeah. night, tea. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. 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 Bye.